So that makes you the indisposable number seven. Huh. Come on, it's simple. You six plus me is seven. <gasps> Wait, don't tell me I don't count. No, uh, um... Here, take it. In the Master's playful and mischievous way, he gave his apprentice Lushu a very important role. What seemed like a simple task was the element that would connect all of the events to come. Long, long ago, all the worlds were still one. One day, this would be called the Age of Fairy Tales. It all began here in Daybreak Town. The Master of Masters had an eye that gazes into the future. He bestowed upon five of his six apprentices a copy of the Book of Prophecies in which was written the events to come. So, did you look through the book? Yes, but I'm still analyzing it. Wow, no quick skim for you, huh? I just prefer to be thorough. Master, is what it says in the last passage true? Oh yeah, that. Bummer, huh? Yes. By the way, if one day I suddenly disappear, I'm counting on you to keep the others calm, okay? Huh? Disappear? Vanish? Dim? Fade? I don't know how to explain it. It's just hypothetical talk. Okay. This world is full of light. It's a world comprised of many smaller worlds, all connected, stretching as far as the eye can see. One great light protects us all throughout this vast land. All worlds share one light, one fate. I take it you're talking about Kingdom Hearts? Yep, you're right on the money. People believe that the light that is Kingdom Hearts will be here forever. But if it were to disappear, the world would be enveloped in darkness. I understand. And that is why you granted us these Keyblades. With these, we can spread the teachings of light. And we can protect Kingdom Hearts from darkness. No, they're not for protecting Kingdom Hearts. Huh? The final passage reads, On that faded land, a great war shall transpire. Darkness will prevail, and the light expire. Isn't it our duty as Keyblade wielders to prevent this war from taking place? Not, not possible. What? You really think you can change the future? Then, what do you want us to do? We have to focus on what comes after. There's no use thinking of ways to change events that we know are gonna happen. But... What about all of those who are here now? And the ones who will be here when the darkness finally comes? Are we to abandon all of them? <laughs> Come on, are you telling me that you think the world can be saved by just seven people? We have to at least try. With enough Keyblade wielders, we could... Well, if you want to give it a shot. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty, good luck. So the reliable Ira, who wore the mask of the unicorn, was given his role to take over for the master and to lead the others. Similarly, the virtuous Envy, who wore the mask of the snake, was given her role to watch over the others with a fair eye. 
the fearless Ased, who wore the mask of the bear, was given his role to support their brand new leader, Ira. The prudent Ava, who wore the mask of the fox, was given her role to prepare exceptional Keyblade wielders for the world after. The cool-headed Gula, who wore the mask of the leopard, was given his role to uncover the mystery of the Book of Prophecies. Lushu, the first of the apprentices to be given their role, watched his companions from afar as they learned what it was that they were meant to do. Then, he disappeared. Not long after that, the master vanished, dimmed, and faded without a trace. This is where your story began. The story of your very own adventure. Five of the Master's apprentices armed themselves with the Book of Prophecies. They each created a union. This would fulfill his wishes. Then they set out to rally Keyblade wielders just like you. By defeating Heartless, the Monsters of Darkness, they would gather light. There's a traitor among us. Are you certain? What proof do you have? I found this sniffing around. Is that... a dark charity? Uh, is that... a nightmare? Did you make this? It's so cute! Well, things are gonna get pretty hectic around here soon. But this spirit Chirithi is gonna make your lives much easier. Hopefully. Spirit? You could say they're like cats or dogs. And they'll be your loyal pets. Every wielder will have one of these adorable little guys at their side. They're here to help, so play nice. Oh, right. Before I forget... If a wielder is overcome by malice, or rather, if their heart is tainted by darkness, their adorable little spirit will turn dark and become a nightmare. So you're telling us that if we see a nightmare... Someone has fallen into darkness. Exactly. And if you don't stop this renegade spirit, it'll plant darkness in the hearts of others. And you'll have an army of nightmares on your hands. Beware. So, if we see one of these nightmares anywhere, we have to get rid of it on the spot. No! I won't let you do that! <laughs> no wonder you ended up as the bear. You're scary. Your point? Maybe you can growl at them. Hmm... Ugh! Don't insult me! Come on, Hased. You won't know if it works unless you try. <laughs> Please tell me you're joking. It's not me. There's an easy way to solve this. If we all summon our spirits, then we'll know. Unfortunately, there are countless wielders in our unions. It would be easy for any of us to summon a Chirithi that isn't a nightmare. I'm afraid that your suggestion wouldn't help us get to the bottom of this. Yeah, in that case, who's to say that the nightmare you saw belongs to one of us? It could belong to anyone in our unions. That's highly unlikely. 
Do you recall the tool the wielders were given in order to make them stronger? We generally don't concern ourselves with what they have at their disposal. However, I believe those tools were the nightmares doing. The bangles? I know when they're equipped, they have the power to collect dark energy. But I thought we all agreed that was okay. Collecting is fine. But using that power is the equivalent of using the power of darkness. It's a brilliant plan. Everyone knows that all spirits look the same, and wielders exist in spades. There's no way to tell. Oh no. Everyone's already equipped their bangles. So what now? How do we find out who's behind this? Seeing as those bangles couldn't have been acquired by just anyone, I believe it's one of us here in this room. No, Ira. I respectfully disagree. What proof do we have that the bangles are tied to the power of darkness, or if a nightmare is to blame? We shouldn't simply jump to conclusions. Ira, some leader you are. You've managed to plant seeds of doubt in all of us with that speech. What, did you expect the traitor to give themselves up with that accusation of yours? <laughs> that was foolish. I said, that's quite enough. It looks to me like the Master made the wrong choice. Wait, where do you think you're going? I think we're done here. I trust you'll keep us all updated. I hope... I hope we can all resolve this soon. That didn't go as expected. What's wrong, Ira? This isn't like you. A lost page. Something's missing from our Book of Prophecies. Each of our copies were said to contain the events of the future. But this incident... Well, it's nowhere to be found. And how does this whole thing with the traitor tie together? Like I said, it's nowhere to be found. In my book. Ira, are you implying that someone is in possession of the missing page? And the person with the complete book is the traitor? There is something going on, and the page is suspiciously missing from the book. It's not so far-fetched to assume that the one who has the lost page has been turned. That they have fallen into the hands of darkness. Trust me. There seems to be no record of it in my book either. You may be onto something. I wonder, could this have been the Master's plan all along? To grant the lost page to only one of us? We have no way of knowing. The Master is gone. I understand what you're saying. I promise to keep a close eye on the others. I will keep you informed, as always. Thanks. Of course. After all, that is what the Master asked of me. And Ira, may your heart be your guiding key. So, to sum it up, I'll need you to observe the others. Easy breezy. Uh, all right. Hmm. Like I said, Ira may have to take over for me. But don't be shy. Just be fair. Then do not be afraid to speak up. Even though I say observe, you'll need to be the mediator. Make sure people get along. I understand. But, without you or Lushu, to form and maintain our own unions is... It's a little unnerving, to be honest. Oh, come on! Lighten up a little. Maybe I'll never disappear. Wait, do you 
want me to go? What? N no, of course not. <laughs> I was just kidding. Oh, I see. Look, I get that change can be hard for everyone, but things need to keep moving forward. And you need to keep up. Otherwise, you'll just get left behind all alone. Now that you know what the future holds, Envy, what does your heart say? <laughs> May your heart be your guiding key. I say it all the time. You ultimately need to do what your heart feels is right. Right. I was wrong about Ira. I thought he would make a great leader, but he let me down. Well, what do you two think? You don't believe what Ira said, do you? Of course not. His argument was unconvincing. It's like Inby said. He's just making baseless assumptions given the situation. There's no evidence to tie his accusations to anyone, let alone one of us. <sighs> Maybe there's something he hasn't told us. And he needs to tell us! How dare he look at us with suspicion! We're his comrades! I wouldn't call us comrades. Anyway, could you get to the point? I know you didn't call us here just to complain. I want the three of us to form an alliance. But alliances are forbidden, I said. I knew it. I had a feeling it would come to this. So, we join forces, then confront Ira? Confronting him is pointless. Ira won't change his mind. I know there's darkness at work. There's no question. But, I don't believe for a second there's a traitor among us. Unfortunately, Ira doesn't share the same belief. He's just wasting time trying to figure out who the traitor is. But darkness won't wait, and neither should we. We need to band together now, and find a way to fight it! <sighs> Guess it makes sense. I agree that we need to do something to fight the darkness. But combining our unions? That was strictly forbidden by the Master. He's no longer here. I'm in. But let's be clear. The Alliance is just between the two of us right now. I don't want my union members involved. Gula! I want... I want to follow the Master's teachings. Understood. That's your choice to make. You should do whatever you feel is right. Yeah. By the way, Ased, do Ira and Inbi know? I haven't talked to Ira about it for obvious reasons, but I did ask Envy to join us. You wanted to see me? Uh, Gula, Ava, what are you doing here? What's the meaning of this? Hear me out, Envy. I want an alliance among our unions. Gula here has already agreed. Will you join us, and together we and can- And disobey the Master's teachings? We don't have a choice! Darkness is approaching, and we need to combine our strength to stand against it. The Master bestowed each of us with a different role, and he specifically told us to keep our union separate, to maintain the balance of power. He told us that any imbalance would lead to a desire for more power, which leads to darkness. I know you haven't forgotten. Perhaps... it's you who has been tainted by darkness. I'm tainted by darkness? Then what about you, Envy? You spy on us and report everything you see back to Ira. You really think you have no darkness in your heart after what you did? Because that is my role. To observe us, yes. But not to disclose everything we say and do to Ira. That's... For all we know, you and Ira could be allies, scheming behind our backs. That's enough.
When will it stop? I don't want us to turn against each other. Master Alva! <gasps> oh, hello. Your name is Ephemer, right? Uh-huh. Uh, hey, can I join you? Uh-huh. Why the long face? Did something happen? Hmm. Long day. Do you remember what you asked me before? About why the unions compete against each other instead of working together. Actually, I always wondered the same thing. Huh? Isn't it just because the Master said so? Yes. And as such, we must obey. The Master said so. So it is. But lately... I've really started to wonder. You once told me that you were looking for answers. That you wanted to solve the mysteries of this world. Well... I think that's how things should be. We need to question things and... think for ourselves. Whoa! You are really not yourself today. I guess even foretellers have their off days. Hey, maybe talking about the book will cheer you up. Not a chance. Aww. Hm. You were trying to pull a fast one on me, weren't you? Oh, no, no, I was joking. If you say so. But to be honest, I think it would be great if all the unions could work together and be friends. You know, I made a friend from another union today. Wasn't much of a talker, maybe just shy. We're meeting again tomorrow. That sounds like so much fun. Then you'd better go home and get some sleep. Okay. <sighs> well, it was nice talking to you. I don't know what's got you down, but please cheer up. Thank you. If the worst happens, I'll be glad to leave the future to the kids who see the world in the way that you do. Let the wind carry you far, far away. My dandelions. Envy. Have you learned something? It seems Ased and Gula's unions are now allied. So Ased is the traitor after all? No. I don't believe he is. Why is that? To Ased, Unification is a means of gathering strength to oppose the darkness. So I believe his heart still belongs to the light. Even so, forming alliances was strictly forbidden by the Master. Yes, and his teachings are absolute. That's why I will try and persuade Gula to dissolve their alliance. Then I'll do it. No. Please, let me do the talking. Your intervention will do nothing more than spur Ased's anger. All right. I'll leave it to you. And one more thing. Ased has begun to question the two of us. As a precaution, my reports will be less frequent. I don't want him to get the wrong idea. Please understand. Yes, I do. I think I'm done. Done with what? <laughs> the Alliance. I think it's time to call it quits. For what reason? To put it simply, I entered this Alliance thinking we were preparing to fight some impending darkness, but it hasn't come. In fact, there haven't been any suspicious incidents recently, and you haven't rallied anyone else to your cause. 
Yeah, but... <sighs> this alliance is meaningless. Even Envy agrees. Oh. Envy? Uh-oh. You weren't supposed to find out. Is Envy the one who told you to break our alliance? Maybe, but I'm the one who decided to do it, and I've already told you why. But we don't even know who the traitor is yet! And that's exactly why. I just can't trust anyone but myself. Don't you realize you won't stand a chance against the darkness on your own? Sorry, my mind's made up. Envy. You will regret this. Been here long? My bad. No. So, what did you want? Uh, you didn't forget, did you? You're the one who called me here. <laughs> Lighten up! I was just kidding. I didn't forget. Give me a little credit here. I was just testing you. Uh, right. Now then. Allow me to tell you about your role. You're going to be Ira's right-hand man. What? Ira's right-hand man? What do you mean? Well, Ira's gonna be the new leader after I'm gone, you see. So, just stand by him. Don't disappoint. Explain to me, Master. What do you mean Ira's going to be leader? What? Is that disappointment I hear? Did you want to be leader? No! I mean, if you had asked me to be the leader, that's a different story, but I wasn't trying You really want to be leader, huh? I... well... I know you want it, but that just isn't enough. Any chump can say, You! Here's a huge promotion! Good job! And make your head honcho. But enthusiasm alone doesn't make a great leader. Ira needs someone like you to give him a push in the right direction. I agree. Ira is definitely the most worthy among us. I'm sure he'll make a fine leader. <laughs> then it's settled. Wait, I agree that he is worthy. But why do we need a new leader, Master? Does, does that mean you will no longer be teaching us? Well, I might disappear one day. Uh, well... I might disappear. Disappear? Why? Where? Speak up sooner if you're listening. It was embarrassing for me. Anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna disappear or not. It's anyone's guess right now. But... In any case, you need to support Ira. We both know he's quite serious. He's always just thinking and thinking and thinking behind that unicorn mask of his. So everyone will be counting on you to spur him into action. Uh, right. You might not be entirely happy with your role, but just know that it's the most important one. Capiche? Hmm? Uh, shall I elaborate? Making Yira the leader is all good in theory, but sometime later you might think, eh, he's terrible at this, in which case it'll be your job to step up. Who knows? Your leadership might be just what everyone needs. And that is your true role. May your heart be your guiding key. Best of luck, I said. It's been over a year since the Master left. It's time for me to fulfill my true role. Why do you get in my way? 
way! Don't be so conceited! I'm protecting the balance! Just like the Master told us to! You need to come to your senses! <laughs> If we don't do something, light will expire. Then we won't be able to avoid the grim future that awaits. We need to defy the Master's teachings to protect the world. You're saying he was wrong? He's not here anymore. I won't let his prophecy come true. I won't let the world fall into darkness. You fool! Over here! <gasps> Envy! Asad! What's going on? I found out who the traitor is. Regrettably. <gasps> no, that's not true! <sighs> Ava! There's no time to lose! <sighs> My heart be my guiding key. Master. Hmm. Mm. Um. Oh. Master? Oh, I see. If you're busy, mm. I can always come back later. Sure. Oh, no, 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 stay. Now, where. Ah, here it is. What's this? Go on, read it. This is from the Book of Prophecies. But... Yep. It's a page that's not in any of your books. And what's written here is... You're wrong. You must find the traitor hidden among you, and stop them before it's too late. And in order to help you find the traitor... I get it. That's why you gave us all different roles, isn't it? If anyone deviates from the job they were given, we can easily conclude that they are the traitor. It's brilliant! Way to steal my thunder, show off! Huh? It's not fair. My plan was supposed to blow your mind with its grandeur. Your jaw should have hit the floor at my sheer genius! I'm... sorry? But was my logic flawed? Oh, you were right. So, I guess now you've earned your time in the limelight. Even though there is a traitor, act normal and keep focused. Trust no one but yourself.
trust no one but myself. want to know what my role is? Huh? The books we were given are incomplete. There's a lost page. Lost page? On that page, it is written that there is a traitor. The master told me to find and stop that person. I called you my comrade. But never again, Gula. It doesn't matter to me if you think I am the traitor and you want to strike me down. You knew there was a traitor and you just watched silently as we fought each other. And I won't forgive you for that. You can barely stay on your feet. Just give up already! Don't you underestimate me! Did it have to come to this? Finish me off, and make it quick. That's not what brought me here today. I wish to fulfill the role bestowed upon me. That's all. It isn't our place to try to change the events of the future. That is not our mission. We're here to make sure that light lives on. With only five lights, we can't afford to lose any. You still count me as one of the five lights? Of course. <laughs> only you could be such a good guy after everything we've been through. But hey, I guess that's one of the reasons I respect you so much. However... We still might only be four. <laughs> I'm talking about Gula. He's using the knowledge of something called the Lost Page. <laughs> he said that it contains events that are missing from all of our books. He's using it to discover and apprehend whoever is the traitor. Claims that's his role. But who knows what his real intentions are? <laughs> what I do know is that I'll never forgive him for hiding the fact that he knew someone would betray us. That's the biggest betrayal of all. I'd like to believe the Gula was simply carrying out his role. Asad, I'll deal with this matter. Please keep it to yourself for now. Understood. 
I need to see that lost page. Why did you tell Ira? It had to be you, because you were the only one who knew where we were hiding. Didn't you think for a second that your actions could be making things worse than they already are? And why should that even bother you? Not only do you have your union, but you've also gathered the finest Keyblade wielders from other unions, and you're training them in a secret location, aren't you? Yes, because that is my role! I had no idea. I apologize. I overstepped. No. I shouldn't have snapped at you either. What did Ira want? I don't know exactly. He just asked me to give up Gula. His eyes... They were... Scary. I was worried he'd do something awful. I knew I couldn't tell him where Gula was, then... He turned around and walked away. I see. And Gula? How was he doing? I don't know. He's gone. care of him. Ira? Is something wrong? I know Gula's here. What? Tell me where he is. But why? What are you going to do? None of your concern. <laughs> Don't. What? I won't let you near him. So that's it. All right. I'll go. Something happen? Ira was here. He wanted me to give you up. I knew it. It's finally come to this. Come to what? Everyone wants to know about the lost page. The lost page? Yeah. It's a page the Master gave me. It doesn't exist in any of our books. It contains a passage about an inevitable betrayal. It talks about... the one who bears the sigil. That's it. So... I don't know what to make of it, to be honest. My role... is to find out who it is. I suspected a said and went to confront him. <laughs> and look what happened. Why are you telling me this, Gula? I have enough to think about keeping with the Master's teachings and my role. Always walking the straight and narrow. I'm a fool for basing my actions on what is written on that lost page. Everything in the passage is ambiguous at best. That's why. I need to find out. But how? By asking the Master. But he's not here anymore. I'm going to summon Kingdom Hearts. What? Then he'll have no choice but to come back. Summoning Kingdom Hearts is forbidden! That's exactly why! The only way to get him back is to break the rules. If things don't change, the entire world is doomed. 
But, in order to go through with it, I'll need Lux. I don't have nearly enough. You always do the right thing. Help me with this. I'm sorry. I know you want the Master to return. But you don't know how summoning Kingdom Hearts will affect the rest of the world. The Master... He forbid it for a reason. I'm afraid I can't help you. I see. May your heart be your guiding key. Ghoul is on a mission to collect Lux. Ah. That explains why Ased and Ira are as well. They're trying to maintain the balance. But... That isn't the balance we were expected to keep. If everyone's collecting light... solely for themselves... Keyblade wielders will soon turn against one another. Which will lead to... The Keyblade War. And what's written in the book... All of it will happen. Light will expire. Envy. What are you going to do? I'll gather Lux, too. No matter what, the balance must be kept. Ava... You do the same. We must... delay the inevitable. Right. What's written in the last page of the book is going to happen. The entire world will be lost to darkness. But Master, isn't there anything we can do? Well, that's what brings me to your role. You might just be the only hope of keeping light from expiring. Master, what is it that you need me to do? Oh. Don't get involved in any battles. Forget the notion of unions. Find Keyblade wielders with potential and create an entirely separate organization. Then, like the seeds of a dandelion, let them fly to another world. They will keep the light alive. You really think that I'm the right person for this? Ava, you're the only person for this. I understand. Today you're here to continue with your training for our mission. This session may seem like it's familiar to you, but in a world that is different, one made of dreams, You are our hope. A war will soon wage. Those who strive to protect the light will turn their weapons on their allies for the sake of loyalty to their own unions. To be honest, I don't know how far I can guide all of you. But you must remember 
is that anyone can lose themselves to the darkness. However, there will be no winners. Everything will be lost. Except all of you who are the seeds of hope. When the time comes and there is war, you mustn't fight, but instead you must fly away from here to the world outside. This training is to help you fulfill this crucial task. The future is in all your hands, as is the world's light. May your hearts be your guiding key. The Gazing Eye? Uh, it's not what it's called. Oh, what then? Hmm, actually, no name. No name. Well, gazing or not, that Keyblade does have an eye in it. My eye, to be exact. Ew! Oh, you think that's gross, do ya? N no Yeah, sure. Anyway, about your role. You need to pass down that Keyblade to your apprentice and then him to his so that my eye can see the future. So the Book of Prophecies... Bingo! The fact that it exists is proof of your success. That means you've trained a worthy apprentice, passed down that handsome Keyblade, and fulfilled your role! Congratulations! What's the matter? Come on! You did a fantastic job! At least smile a little. But I haven't done anything yet. Good point. Guess you'd better get started then. Unfortunately, you'll have to go alone from here on out. No Book of Prophecies to keep you company either. I can't have you causing any temporal paradoxes. But hey, we both know you'll do just fine without it, right? Do I really have to go alone? What about the others? Minor details, so don't sweat it. For now, you, that Keyblade, and... This box need to stay out of sight. Just watch with your own eyes, and my eye, of course, as things unfold between the others. Then, when the time is right, go off and do your thing. What's in it? It's a secret. And, well, you see, <laughs> the thing is, you can never, ever open it. Great, now I really want to know. <laughs> All right, I'll indulge you. But this secret stays between the two of us, and you have to promise never to open the box. I promise. But why? You'll see. May my heart be my guiding key.
This world is just too small. Who's there?
A meteor shower! Why does it seem so... familiar? Give me a break, Aqua. Then, you hopeless sleepyhead. You know, you should have at least brought a blanket. But, did I dream that place up? It really felt like I'd been there before, looking up at the stars. <laughs> Except you've always lived here with us. Yeah. I know. Hey, Aqua. Hmm? You ever wonder what stars are? Where light comes from? Hmm. Well, they say... That every star up there is another world. Huh? Oh. Terra. Yep. Hard to believe there are so many worlds out there besides our own. The light is their hearts. And it's shining down on us like a million lanterns. What? I don't get it. In other words, they're just like you, Ven. What does that mean? You'll find out someday, I'm sure. I want to know now! You're too young to know now. Quit treating me like a kid! <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I can't help it. You two would make the weirdest brothers. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Tara, you and I have our Mark of Mastery exams tomorrow. I made us good luck charms. Uh, wow. Here. I get one too? Of course. One for each of us. Yeah. Somewhere out there, there's this tree with star-shaped fruit. And the fruit represents an unbreakable connection. So as long as you and your friends carry good luck charms shaped like it, nothing can ever drive you apart. You will always find your way back to each other. Technically, I think you're supposed to make them with seashells. <laughs> but I did the best with what I had. Oi, sometimes you are such a girl. Hey, what do you mean sometimes? So this isn't a real good luck charm? Well... That's yet to be seen. But I did work a little magic on it. Really? What? <laughs> An unbreakable connection. Hey, uh, we're gonna head back. Yeah, me too.
together. Always. That would be the last night we ever spent beneath the same stars. I cannot shake the feeling something terrible is about to transpire. Hmm? Today you will be examined for the mark of mastery. Not one, but two of the Keyblades chosen stand here as candidates. But this is neither a competition nor a battle for supremacy. Not a test of wills, but a test of heart. Both of you may prevail, or neither. But I am sure our guest, Master Xehanort, did not travel all this way to see our youngest prospects in years fall short of the mark. I trust you are ready. Yes. yes. Then let the examination begin. on the exam. But Ven, you're in danger here. Go wait in your room. No way. I've been looking forward to this. Seeing you two become masters. I'm not gonna miss it now. He could take care of himself. He's been out there training just as hard as us. Yeah. Stay sharp, Ven. That was unexpected. But one must keep a still heart even in the most trying of circumstances. It was an excellent test, one I chose to let unfold. Which brings us to your next trial. Now, Terra and Aqua, the two of you will face each other in combat. Remember, there are no winners, only truths. For when equal powers clash, their nature is revealed. Begin! We have deliberated and reached a decision. Terra, Aqua, you both perform commendably. However, only Aqua has shown the mark of mastery. Terra, you fail to keep the darkness within you sufficiently in check. But there is always next time. That is all. Aqua, as our newest Keyblade Master, you are entitled to certain knowledge. Please wait here for further instruction. Hey. Tara. 
I'm sorry. The darkness. Where did it come from? What do you make of Ventus? He ain't gonna cut it. Somebody's gotta break that loser in. Not here, you won't. I have to keep up appearances. I know that. He just needs a little incentive to leave home. <sighs> Sorry. But I need some time alone. <sighs> There's darkness within me. So what does that matter? I know I'm strong enough to hold it back. Yes. You are indeed strong. The darkness has nothing to fear. Master Xehanort. And yet, how frustrating that Ericus refutes its power. Why, you could train with him forever, and still, You'd never be a master in his eyes. But why? Help me understand, Master Xehanort. What is it that I failed to learn? You're fine as you are. <laughs> Darkness cannot be destroyed. It can only be channeled. Yes. Thank you, Master. see Terra again. What? Get real. I can see Terra anytime I want. Like right now? He's leaving you behind. And by the time you catch up, he'll be a different person. Look, whoever you are, you don't know the first thing about Terra. Me and him will always be a team. You trying to pick a fight or what? Oh, grow up. Is that what you call friendship? You'll never know the truth unless you go out and look for it yourself. Come on, what could you possibly know when you're stuck here, looking at nothing but what's in your tiny world? And in so much as you are now Keyblade Master, you must always be conscious of... <laughs> what is that? What happened? I don't know. Why isn't Ven here? Very well then. I will send my pupils to investigate. Yes, I understand. Farewell. That was my dear old friend Yen Sid. As you know, he is master no more, but he still keeps a close eye on the tides of light and darkness. His counsel serves as signposts on the road we wielders of the Keyblade must walk. All the more reason then for concern. 
for he tells me the princesses of heart are in danger. Not only from the forces of darkness, as you may assume, but also from a new threat, one that feeds on negativity. Fledgling emotions that have taken monster form. Yen Sid calls them the Unversed. As wielders of the Keyblade, you are tasked with striking down any who would upset the balance of light and darkness. The Unversed are no exception. I tried to pass this news on to Master Xehanort, but my repeated attempts to reach him have failed. I doubt there is any connection, and yet this all troubles me. Master Xehanort is gone? So here we are. I need you two to get this situation under control. Eliminate the Unversed, and find Master Xehanort. I have unlocked the lanes between. You may use these forbidden pathways to travel between this world and countless others. The darkness looms closer than usual within these spaces, but your armor will protect you. Lastly, remember that order must be kept. You cannot tell anyone there are other worlds. Now go, and fulfill your duty. Yes, Master. Terra, consider this an opportunity, a second chance for you to change my mind. What? You must know, I care for you like my own son. If I could have my way, I would name you master in a second. But how can I, when you are so obsessed with power? Terra. You mustn't be afraid of losing. Fear leads to obsession with power, and obsession beckons the darkness. You must never forget. Thank you, Master. I swear, I will not fail you again. Oh. Master, I best be on my way. Wait, Aqua. Before you depart, I have one other, well, call it a request, of the utmost priority. Yes? I told Terra this could be a second chance to show the mark of mastery, and I meant it. However, that flicker of darkness he displayed during the examination, I can sense it runs very deep. If he were to... If those powers were to prove too much for him to handle, I want you to bring him back to me at once. It's for his own good. He could not bear to lose any of you to the darkness. Of course. I would never let that happen. I promise you I will bring Terra back. Only this time, you'll see he has what it takes to be a master. He's not as weak as you think. Tara! Hmm? I, I... It's okay.
No, he mustn't. You have to bring him back. Don't worry, Master. Monsters. The ones the Master mentioned. These are the Unburst. No, you don't! you asleep, boy. That fool Slora cast a spell to put everyone in this castle into a deep, deep slumber. Who are you? Why, I am Maleficent, as all who dwell in this kingdom would know. Now you must reciprocate the introduction. Who are you? I'm Terra. What do you know about those monsters? The ones who attacked me? Hmm. Now why would I give a thought to creatures so base, so inconsequential? <laughs> well, they are base, that's for sure. Anyway, I'm looking for someone. Ever heard of a man named Xehanort? That name is not familiar to me. Is he an outsider like yourself? Oh, but wait. I do remember someone leaving the castle. Tell me, what was he doing there? I couldn't say. I can only be certain he was not from this kingdom. If you're curious, go see the castle for yourself. There, the entrance is past the bridge. Thanks. <laughs> Perhaps he did speak about imprisoning the light. The light could be so many things. Could he have meant Princess Aurora? Aurora. This feels so familiar. Her heart is filled with light. Not the slightest touch of darkness. Just the kind of heart I need. For what? Imagine with me the most glorious of futures. Seven of the purest hearts, each overflowing with light. When brought together, 
They grant the power to rule all worlds. What do you mean? Why, that key you hold. The Keyblade, is it called? Where did you learn that name? That trinket is the only way to obtain the hearts. No more games! Where is Master Xehanort? Impudence will get you nowhere, child. If you wish to learn more, you must retrieve the heart of Aurora. And why would I ever want to do that? It's not a matter of why, but of will. In your heart, there is darkness just waiting to be awakened. I don't know what you're talking about. Perhaps not yet. But I have power over sleep. And I can awaken what's inside you. Then you will be free to be who you truly are. Remember, the darkness lurks in every heart. Darkness is our foe. Would that we could be rid of it. You must destroy it. Push the darkness down. Give it no quarter in your heart. Just what I've waited for. To think that all he spoke of was and will be true. What? How did I... What did I do? What did you do? You speak as if I pulled some invisible strings. No. You couldn't be further from the truth, child. I simply whispered to the darkness you already held inside. How could I do this? Then! Yes. Now, you want to know where Xehanort went. Well, that I cannot answer. He disappeared into the darkness. But now I know the Keyblade is necessary to gather hearts. Join me. Collect six more hearts of pure light. Then we will rule all the worlds together! You seem to be mixed up. I'm a peacekeeper, not a tyrant. For a peacekeeper, you're off to an exceptionally poor start. Remember this. The darkness in your heart cannot be held back by force or strength. Now, my work here is done, as is yours. Wasn't there someone you needed to change? The Unburst. They're gonna bring down the castle. I have to do something. It's my fault her light was stolen. It was because I was weak. I'm sorry. I'll get your light back. Once I learn to stand up against the darkness. Why would Master Xehanort imprison the light? The purest hearts of light. Do they hold the answer? <laughs> Seven pure hearts, each completely void of darkness. 
such a search may take some time. Spirit of the Mirror, come from the farthest space. Through wind and darkness, I summon thee. Speak! Show me thy face. What wouldst thou know, my queen? Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Famed is thy beauty, Majesty, but whom a lovely maid I see. Alas, she is more fair than thee. Alas for her. Reveal her name. Lips red as the rose, hair black as ebony, skin white as snow. Oh, snow white. A mirror that knows and sees everything. How about that? The heart of Snow White doth shine bright. Beware, my queen, a heart of light. Another one? Wait, what if Master Xehanort is here? <gasps> Who goes there? My name is Terra. I'm looking for a man named Xehanort. Master Xehanort. I thought maybe you might have seen him. That name is of no consequence to me. Wait. Ah, yes. I have a task for you. If you succeed, I will ask the mirror where you might find this Master Xehanort. And the mirror will know? Do you dare to question me? What is the task? <laughs> there is a young maid who resides in this castle. Her name is Snow White. Kill her. And to make sure you do not fail, bring back her heart in this. Her heart? I don't understand. You're after the Hearts of Light too? What I demand is her life. I've had more than enough of her light. What did this maiden do to you? That is no concern of yours. Now, heed my words. My radiance is all the light this kingdom needs. Where can I find her? Outside the castle, there is a glade of wildflowers. You are dismissed. Go now and seek her there. A heart of light. This Snow White is my best chance right now. Maybe she will lead me closer to Master Xehanort. But what if I... No, I won't let that happen. I wonder if that's her. Aren't you startled? Should I be? It's true then. Her heart is pure light. She's the one. Is something the matter? Does the name Xehanort 
mean anything to you? Why, why no. I don't think I've ever heard that name. Now what? <laughs> Unversed. Oh. Hey, wait! Don't go in there alone. <laughs> Out of my way. Lost her. She said she doesn't know anything about Master Xehanort. That leaves me with just one other option. The mirror. Back at the castle. How dare you return here, you blundering fool. What are you talking about? I ordered you to bring me Snow White's heart. A request I chose to ignore. You know, you claim to be radiant, but all I see are shadows of jealousy hanging thick on your heart. You will pay for such insolence. Magic mirror on the wall. Consume this fool once and for all. Alas, my liege, that I cannot do. I have no power save answers true. Huh? You dare defy your queen? <gasps> what? you escape? Now you will ask the mirror. Where can I find Master Xehanort? <sighs> Magic mirror, instruct this knave. Give him the answers he doth crave. Beyond both light and dark he dwells, where war was waged upon the fells. Is that all? Thanks. You've been a big help. Master Ericus said he first received word of these events from Master Yen Sid. Maybe it's time I went and spoke with him myself. That's not nice. Treating me like some kind of bad guy? I'm just trying to find a friend. His name is Terra. He's dressed kind of like me, about yay tall. 
sounds like a tall tale to me. Go on, get! We don't know any Terra. <sighs> Please, could you come over here? I just want to talk. Don't fall for it! Stay where you are! All right, then we'll do this the hard way. Yeah. Come on. I'm telling you, I'm no thief. Ah, that's what they all say. Well, we're on to you. Fine, I get it. You want me to leave, I'll leave. Oh, but can you tell me where I can find some other people around here? There's a castle beyond the chorus. I mean the forest. Got it. Well, thanks. Probably just seeing things. It happens to all of us when we're afraid. Oh, thank you. I feel quite better now. I'm sure I'll get along somehow. But I do need a place to sleep at night. Would you know anywhere I might? Well, I saw a house just up ahead. Come on, I'll take you there. Oh, I'm Ventus. Then, for short. Thank you, then. My name's Snow White. Great. Let's get going. Hmm. I'm pretty sure you'll be safe here. But sit tight while I look around. Someone's asleep in here. The coast is clear. Not a monster in sight. Huh. Couldn't stay away, could you? And who invited you in, you rotten thief? Oh no, he's not a thief. He rescued me. You mustn't be more. I mustn't be fooled by him, Princess. Just go on and get! Please don't send him away. You see, he helped me when I was lost, and oh, so very frightened. What happened? Well, I was picking flowers by the wood, and there was a stranger there. He had a sword, but it was like a key, and then these monsters came and... A sword like a key? Terra! You mean this stranger saw you and sent his horde of evil demons after you? Terra would never do that! Oh, of course. I'm sure he wouldn't. Not if he's someone who's your friend. Princess, you trustn't be so musting. Oh, uh, trusting. He's a lion! Mark my words! I'll prove it! <sighs> Back off! Drop this. Huh? Oh, I thank you, my pet. 
to tell the truth, I really don't know what I would have done without that. <laughs> Haven't I seen that sword before? Tara has one. You know Tara? Oh, yes, yes. That ruffian pointed one of those at me asking about some Xehanort. My poor heart nearly stopped. That doesn't sound like him at all. Ma'am, where did Tara go? I'm sure I have no idea. <sighs> Must you all menace a poor granny so? What? No, I, I was just... Tara, what did you do? Jack, what's all the fuss about? Somebody new in the house! Somebody never saw her for! Oh, a new friend! Where is he? In a trap trap! Down the stairs! Oh, dear! <sighs> what is going on? Tell me how I got so small! <sighs> Don't be afraid. Oh! How interesting. I've never seen a mouse like you before. Mouse? Jack, you better explain things to him. Uh. Huh? Now, now, now! Look a little guy, break her easy! Not a worry, pal. We like her, you. Flinda really like her, you too. She's a nice, very nice, nice. <laughs> Come on now, jump her! Name it Jack. I'm Ventus. Call me Vin. Shut up, Vin Vin. Need a set up? Cinderella? Oh well, time to get to my chores. I'll see you in a little while then. Wow, I guess she's got her hands full. Just work, work, work. Step muddy, keep a Flinderelli busy all day. She didn't seem to mind much though. No, not a Flinderelli. She work a hard. Got a dream, big dream. Dream gonna come true. That sounds like somebody I know. Being a Keyblade Master is all I've dreamed about. Hey, maybe you can help me find him. His name's Terra. You seen him? Eh, uh, no, no. Never saw Terra before. Oh, well. It was worth a shot. Come on! Follow me! Gotta see the house! Hey! What's that? That's a palace! King's palace! Gonna be a big ball tonight! Is Cinderella going? <sighs> I don't know. Huh? Hello, you two. Have you become friends already? Oh, that's wonderful. You sure look happy, Cinderella. Hmm. I'm going to the royal ball tonight. <sighs> I guess dreams really do come true. Cinderella! My dress will have to wait. Cinderella! Cinderella! All right, all right. I'm coming. Poor Flinderelli. She not go to the ball. Why not? You see, they fix her. 
Work, work, work. She'll never get her dress done. Say, got an idea. Invent Hipper Jack. With what? Fix up Linda Relly dress for the ball. But what do we need to get? Work around the house. Lots of pretty, pretty things. Okay, let's do it. I'll go find whatever we need. Jacques, you get things set up here. Yeah. Ben Ben, carefree Rusafi. Rusafi? Rusafi, a cat cat. Mean, sneaky, jump a two, bite a two. <laughs> gotcha. Still needs a pity, pity pearl. Leave it to me. Oh, there it is. Thanks needed. You saved me before, so I saved you. That's what friends do, right? good friend. Now, let's get that dress finished. Oh well, what's a royal ball? After all, I suppose it would be frightfully dull and Boring and completely, completely wonderful. Cinderella! Is that my dress? Yes, it's a present from us. Now you have a dress for the ball. It's... it's such a surprise. Flurry, flurry! Time to go, Flitter Belly! Oh, thank you. Chuck Chuck, hope of Flitter Belly dream come true. What's a Vendor dream? Huh? I wonder... <laughs> Being a Keyblade <laughs> Master is all I've dreamed about. about. Well, you're, well, not, you're the not the only, only one. one. I know. You, me, and Ven all share, all share the same, same dream. dream. Funny. I'd never really thought about it. At least until you asked me. My dream is to become a Keyblade Master. Hope a Ven Ven dream come to her too. I just need to keep on believing. Right? Suck, suck. Is something wrong? It's just that my friends made me the most beautiful dress. 
but my stepmother and stepsisters ruined it, and I was so looking forward to the ball. <laughs> Darkness always finds a way into a wounded heart. You have to be strong. Strength of heart will carry you through the hardest of trials. But I... Unversed! Heart is huh? important, but that's not all you need. Huh? There's nothing left to believe in. Nothing. Nothing, my dear. Oh, now, you don't really mean that. Oh, but I do. It's just no use. Nonsense. If you'd lost all your faith, I couldn't be here. And here I am. Oh, come now. Dry those tears. You can't go to the ball looking like that. Ball? Oh, but I'm not. Of course you are. But we'll have to hurry. Now, what were those magic words? Oh, yes! Bibbidi bobbidi boo! It's a dream come true. Yes, but like all dreams, I'm afraid this can't last forever. You'll have only till midnight, and then on the stroke of twelve, the spell will be broken, and everything will be as it was before. Yes, I understand. was full of light. Why didn't I see it? What did you do? I can hardly tell she's the same person. Who are you? Tara. Tara, in your heart, do you believe that dreams can come true? I do. But I also believe you have to make an effort to make them come true. Yes, of course. But sometimes just believing in dreams is easier said than done. Cinderella believes her dreams can come true. I wanted her to see that she is right. So that's what made her shine. Faith in her heart that anything is possible. Where did she go? To the royal ball at the palace. Go, and when you see her dancing, you'll know that she believes, and that will help you to believe too. Here too. Hit. <gasps> I've met you before. I'll take care of them. You wait right here. Please, may I go with you? I so want to get to the ball. Um. All right. But stay behind me, or you'll get hurt. <laughs> You're not worried? Didn't you tell me it was important to stay strong? Oh. Um, I, I guess I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, you ready? Yes. Oh, 
Thank you, um... Tara. Thank you, Tara. <laughs> Maybe just believing is enough. But who is she, Mother? Do we know her? Well, the Prince certainly seems to. I've never seen her before. Nor I. But she certainly is. Wait. There is something familiar about her. Unversed. <laughs> Tell me, how do I get up there? Um, well, uh, there is a passage beneath the foyer staircase. Thanks. us all. <sighs> the guests were just starting to enjoy themselves. Well, don't give up just yet. Oh! Tell me something. Have you always had a problem around here with those monsters? No. I believe uh, they began to appear shortly after a boy in a mask arrived in our kingdom. Those that saw him said the monsters obeyed his every command. A boy in a mask? Do you know where he is now? Well, um, no. I don't believe anyone has seen him since then. I see. Oh, my goodness. It's midnight. Yes, so it is. But why? Goodbye. Wait. Come back! Please come back! I'm sorry! Mademoiselle! Senorita! Wait! Aqua! Tara! Tara, Ven ran away from home. What? I think he left to go find you. Do you have any idea why? No. Huh. Actually, just before I left, he tried to tell me something. I should have listened to what he had to say. Oh. So, did you manage to locate Master Zaynort? No, but it seems he's looking for pure hearts filled with light. Pure hearts filled with light? All I can tell you is that his search hasn't taken him here. Alright. I'll stay and see if I can find more clues. Okay. The prince is in the ballroom ahead. 
He might have some answers. Thanks. <laughs> Aqua! You still have the same dream? Well, yes. There's this girl here. Her name is Cinderella. She made me realize how powerful it is just to believe. No matter how impossible things seem, a powerful enough dream will always be enough to light the darkness. Mm. If you see her, give her my thanks. Will do. The boy in the mask who is leading the unversed. Who is he? Does he have anything to do with Master Xehanort's disappearance? He'll be all right. He won't give into it. those ladies? Oh, if I recall correctly, that is Lady Tremaine, and those are her daughters. There was something very wrong about them. You came back. Huh? Oh, my apologies. I was mistaken. <laughs> Your Highness, I found this on the palace stairs. A glass slipper. One dropped by a lovely young lady, and I'll search far and wide to find the maiden to whom this belongs. You will? Of course, Your Highness. After all, you finally found someone whom you wish to marry. Upon hearing that happy news, your father, the king, has decreed that a quest shall begin immediately throughout the kingdom. And I will start with the closest residence, that of Lady Tremaine. Lady Tremaine. I'd better pay her a visit. You honor our humble home, my lord. <clears throat> Quite so. May I present my daughters, Grisella and Anastasia? As I feared, there is darkness here. Wait! It's dangerous to fight the darkness with light, my dear. Who are you? Cinderella's fairy godmother. I appear to those who believe that dreams come true. Then I'm honored. But why would you advise me not to fight darkness with light? Strong rays of sun create dark shadows. Sadly, Lady Tremaine and both her daughters are jealous of Cinderella's charm and beauty. Qualities that appear to you as light. Jealousy is darkness. Light and dark go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. Then, what should I do? It's quite simple, dear. One of Cinderella's friends is trying very hard to keep her light from fading. I want you to join Little Jack and help him. I can do that. You'll need a bit of my magic to help, Jack. Come back and see me when you're ready. Bippity boppity boo!
then, you must have just missed Tara. I can't understand why! It always fit perfectly before! Quite enough of this. The next young lady, please. Oh no! Hear that! Not a flurry! Brenda really gotta try that flipper! Come on, come on, flurry! It's all right. Leave this to me. Jack, don't lose that key. <laughs> You're the only ladies here? There's no one else, Your Grace. Come on. Hurry, Jack. Uh. Alright, if I tried on the glass slipper? Hmm. I met you at the palace. Unfortunately, you are not the young lady the prince is looking for. But I am a girl. I should at least be given a chance to try it on. Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? She's probably here to rob us. Mother, do something! That girl does not live here. I have only two daughters. I believe we're finished here, Your Grace. Regardless, she means no harm. Here you are, my dear. Jack, hurry. Your Grace, please wait. May I try it on? Pay no attention to her. She's just an imaginative child. Madam, my orders were every maiden. You should let her go first. Thank you. I actually want to thank you for teaching Tara he needs to keep believing. <laughs> what will I do? Please, don't worry. You see, I have the other slipper. must inform the prince immediately. You will come with me, of course. I'd be happy to. It's not fair! She's a scullery maid! Mother! Are you just going to let them leave? No. Cinderella will be put in her place. What happened? Where is Cinderella? She, she was attacked by a, a creature, a, a monster in the forest. A monster? This is what happens when you go against my wishes. The darkness in their hearts overtook them. Go.
pure heart filled with light? It's strange. The master taught me darkness needs to be destroyed. But how, if not with light? Oh, my dear, you're too young to know. Experience more things, and you'll find the answer. Just trust in your dreams. What has happened here? Poor Snow White. <laughs> she was just as sweet as could be. She sang us pretty songs. And made us smile. At bedtime, she told wonderful stories. About falling in love with the prince she met. And when we went to work, she gave us all a kiss. She was so full of kindness. Why, she made better folk of all of us. From what you've said, she must have been very loved. But how did this happen to her? A wicked queen was horribly jealous of our dear Snow White's beauty. So she used her evil magic to change into an old hag. Then she gave Snow White a poison apple. And by the time we got here, well, it was just too late. We found the princess as still as can be. Nothing we could do but wake her. Isn't there some way we can help her? Well, not unless somebody craves the vessel. I'll brave the castle. No, you fools can stay here doing nothing. But I'm not a fear of going, not even to that witch's lair. You'll never make it. The castle's supposed to be guarded by magic and crawling with monsters. Hmm. All right, then I'll go. You will? I will. Leave it to me. Well, all right, my dear. We'd be much obliged. Is something wrong? This castle. It's different somehow. And I can't find the princess or hear her beautiful voice. Was it all a dream? Wait. You mean you know Snow White? Oh, yes. We met once. It was a song that drew us together. Has something happened to the princess? Yes, I'm afraid so. The wicked queen tricked her into eating a poisoned apple. I must go to her. Where is she? In the woods, guarded by seven kind dwarfs. I will find her. Perhaps there's a way I can help. Something's not right.
The queen is gone, my service done. Adieu, O oh victorious one. Princess! Don't you wake up? Waking is a new journey. Maybe Vent left because it was his time. Still no sign of Terra. seen anyone so beautiful. Who are you? I'm Ventus, but you can call me Ven. Oh, you don't seem bad, dear. I'm certain you have a pure heart, just like our precious Aurora. Can you tell me why she's sleeping? Long ago, Maleficent cursed her. Now she's stolen her heart. Hmm. Well then, why don't I go get it back for her? That's impossible, dear. Maleficent's home is at the Forbidden Mountain. It's not safe. I'm not afraid. We, we can't just leave Aurora like this. I can help. You gotta believe me. Come on. Let's go get her heart. You know, you're absolutely right. The Forbidden Mountain is through the forest. Come along. Follow us. After all, we wouldn't want you to get lost.
Looks like we're stuck. This must be Maleficent's doing. I know. Shall we? Yep. Careful, they're Maleficent. Well, they ain't guarding nothing. <laughs> Tension! No sleeping on the job. That should do it. Don't you remember? We've met before. We... we have? Why, of course, you said so yourself. Once upon a dream. I never thought I would meet you. Outside of my dreams, that is. Who are you? What's your name? Hmm? Oh, my name? Why, it's... Oh, oh no, I can't. Goodbye. I must see you. I don't know. Maybe someday. When? Tomorrow? Oh, no. This evening. At the cottage in the Glen. What was that? Aurora's memory. She must have gotten her heart back. So her dream came true? Yes, not long ago. Dreams are very strong beliefs. Aurora's led her to her true love. I see you hold strong beliefs too, don't you, dear? Yep. You also have a strong light. Hmm. All right, hurry! We can't stay here! Someone has released Aurora's heart. Tell me, child, was it you? Maleficent. Only because you stole it in the first place. <laughs> A keyblade? You must be Ventus. Huh? How do you know about me and the keyblade? My powers ensure I'd know of the key to bringing me hearts. Terra gave me a demonstration. <laughs> Terra? He was here? Why, yes. In fact, it was he who stole Princess Aurora's heart. That's a lie! I was asked to leave you unharmed, but it seems I have no choice. What's that? I think I'd better go take a look inside. There's no way Tara would hurt somebody like that! You don't believe me? That's unfortunate, for he agreed so easily. He did? Fen, don't be fooled! Huh? Aqua! Terra would never do that. You know that as well as I do. 
Yeah. Ah, the truth can be most cruel, even amongst the closest of friends. After all, one never knows the secrets of another's heart. I'm sure you'll agree, Ventus. Aqua. The Master sent me. Huh? Then, let's go home. But Terra... Terra's not ready to leave yet. Like right now? He's leaving you behind. And by the time you catch up, we'll be a different person. Sorry, Aqua. But... I can't go with you. What? It's just... I have to find him before it's too late. Then! I see you too wield a Keyblade. How do you know about the Keyblade? A source of power. A key that opens the hearts of men, of entire worlds, and allows one to obtain anything and everything. Such a power I find most fascinating. So, Terra... He really? Yes. Now, my dear, would you like to assist me as well? Never! I see. Xehanort was right. You are a most stubborn girl. Master Xehanort, how do you... It seems you need time to consider my offer. Fortunately, I have the perfect place. What? Aqua. It looks like I was caught in a trap. Why are you here? To prevent me from breaking her evil curse, I was to meet the most beautiful girl at a cottage in the Glen. But now my true love lies in an eternal slumber, and only I can break the spell. You must really love her. Is what you said true? Yes. Maleficent told me. Oh, Prince Philip, it's you! Now, Philip, the road to true love may be barred by many more dangers which you alone will have to face. I'm going with you. There's something I need to know and Maleficent has the answer. Yes, of course, dear. Now come along. We must hurry to Aurora. What did Master Xehanort tell you? Such a pity, child, that you don't have Terra's gift for obedience. Nor can you see how easy it was for him. Terra would never do anything to help you! Quite the contrary. He fully embraced the darkness within himself. Stop lying! See for yourself all the powers of hell! <sighs> Together, 
truth lies swift and sure that evil die and good endure. It's the power of true love that defeated you. I will not be defeated by something as insignificant as love. You don't even know the first thing about it. You're too clouded by darkness to see that there's something greater. Try all you want, but you'll never defeat a heart filled with light. Perhaps. But remember one thing. As long as there is light, there will be darkness. And in time, many more will be drawn to it. Then they will all belong to me! <laughs> Tara, you better stay strong for me.